Hi, Thursday, 24th of September. This is my third video. Uh, comments yesterday have led me to look at uh, the way my camera positioning, which I uh, hopefully this is an improvement. Um, and also I had a generous gift of a GoPro um, from a great friend who's, who's Basically, he's, he's encouraging me to, to kind of make more content. Um, he enjoys watching this. So if, if for no, no, no other reason, uh, this is going to be an encouragement that somebody's getting something from um, listening to what I've got to say. And uh, it, that's, that's great because I'm going to put these things out there and I, I hope people look at them. But the fact that, that I'm having like positive feedback like that, that, that can't be uh, more enthusiasm. So um, that, that's great. Thank you so much, Paul. Um, while we're on the subject of Paul, I um, saw him yesterday and uh, it was quite interesting. I had quite a lot of like, conversations with people and I've had I felt a lot of um, love from the, the start of this project. Um, just from putting myself out there that I guess there's a lot of people who, who didn't know so much about what was going on with me um, and being brave and um, sort of making it a bit more public um, has, has kind of opened up um, a response from from people who I haven't don't speak to on a regular basis and people also people that I do um, because they're interested in exactly where I am or uh, some, obviously some people it's all like news even though in my world this has been going on for a year so there's that so um, things I'm continuing to learn um, is also what, what I'm expecting to get out of this um, uh, recording my thoughts and um, the benefits it will provide if I if I treat it in the right way and uh, so yesterday I had a great day obviously I was up early and recorded some thoughts and then um, I went into hospital a few situations where I felt like um, even though I put myself out there and the first thing I did in the morning was was kind of create the video and I felt that really helped clear my mind and give me a direction for the day. So then interactions with people um, I find quite difficult. I'm quite confrontational. And if, I've, if I'm having a conversation that leads me to kind of behave that way, um, I can then get a little bit stressed and it affects a lot of other things about the way I continue to go about my day. Being aware of that and, and having a little bit more of a calm approach so things don't turn into conflict so quickly, I think that's really useful. Um, and also holding back sometimes. If I feel pressure, then I'm, I'm at liberty to say no and, and say, you know, I'm not happy with that. And um, maybe come revisit it later or advise the the, the the person needs to just find another route not involving me um, and that's that's not something that's going to cause offense but it, it might help me um, avoid the conflict in the first place and, and be lighter and not so kind of yeah, worried about um, the fact that I, I can't offer to do the things I might have previously been able to do to help people and that will vary from day to day. I'd had a nebulizer um, treatment yesterday and that leaves me feeling a little bit, um, I was actually short of breath because I didn't enjoy the experience and I wasn't breathing as well as I should have been so my blood pressure went up and it was a good excuse to put my feet up and um, use the day to relax. I didn't achieve that very well because I can't sit still, but um, I probably gave myself a little bit more time than I would otherwise have done. 
so learned that. Um, so today uh, I am looking at the fact that the GoPro is a whole new experience for me. We want to get the most out of what it has to offer to improve this um, broadcast. So I'm going to, uh, I've ordered some accessories so that the, we can fix it where we need to. I've got a bike mount for it, so it can, can sit on my handlebars. I've also bought a chest strap that will allow me to wear it when I'm running, things like that. Uh, it comes with a helmet mount, but I, I just, I'd like the GoPro to remain still when it's involved um, recording activity. And with the bike, if it's just whacked on top of my helmet, if I change my seating position, it's gonna, it's gonna wobble around, be less kind of presentable, the footage will be less presentable. But Obviously, with a bit of experimentation, I'll find out. The main thing is getting it set up so that it will wirelessly transfer to the best, most convenient location so that, to make this process of uploading videos as streamlined as possible. So what I'm going to do on the description to these YouTube videos, I'm going to start putting links up, hyperlinks, so that if, if anyone wants to drill down into the detail of what I'm saying, if I can easily find it, then I can just put it in the description. You can click on it and see what I'm wittering on about. So for the people that are involved, in, that, that are interested in the technical detail, that's there for them. And then be other people who kind of might get more about the fact that I'm sharing my thoughts and the journey out of AML and... I think particularly at this stage, it's being on steroids um, that I can't switch my mind off. So to have a friend in, by way of a camera to talk to and put myself out there, I'm going to benefit from that. And it's from a clinical point of view, that may be the, the thing that fellow patients will benefit from listening to. So, um, yeah, that's that. Uh, so I've also learned yesterday that I'm very much a results orientated person. So if I can take on a couple of things that are going to lead me to believe that I've, I've the achievable goals that I've set myself, I can see visible progress at the end of each section of my day. Um, I'm going to get positives from that. I'm going to make it a lot easier for me to, to be happy. Um, so little tasks that suit my mood um, are going to be the way to go. So today um, I'm actually being a chauffeur driver for my wife. She's got a, a, an appointment down in Columpton with the dentist. So that's something I actually look forward to because uh, I get some time after I've dropped her at the dentist to visit a nice local coffee shop that's I feel really safe in and it's supporting the local um, industry. They look after you so well and they're doing everything right. I'm going to put a link to their um, website um, in the little cafe in Columpton because I think they should be um, they should be bigged up. Um, I'm also uh, going to talk now about my uh, progress on my plans for bike build. So um, I'm going ahead and um, selling two old road bikes and I will purchase one new frame and that will become the bike that I use virtually for everything. I'll have a, a, a crummy bike that I'm more than happy to live in and leave in the town centre and it'll allow me to do my errands and that's the bike that I've had for ages and and. I will continue to use, I'm happy to continue to use it. I'll probably tamper with it just to keep it comfortable um, and uh, encourage me to use it on a regular basis. We've got panniers, so we can we can go out and carry things with, with that bike. I've uh, got nice memories. We cycled along the Loire using that one, and it's uh, so don't really want to let that go. Um, but the long term, I'm selling the... Uh, a bike that I cycled with my friend Paul to Germany on, which is a, a 2008 or Bayer, which has been seriously upgraded. It's got nothing original on it because I've used trickled down components from a, a, an old, a newer bike that I bought in 2004 
Um, again, quite old, so it's quite nice to start again um, with a with more new technology on the on the bike build. But there are things that I can do to um, make sure that the upgrades on the bikes that I'm selling are appropriate and will be recognised by the market that I'm aiming at. Um, so I don't oversell stuff. I can keep things and recycle them if they're up to a certain standard or sell them to a separate marketplace that um, is more deserving than over-engineered components that don't suit the value or the function of the bike that they're included on. So I'm going to do a little bit of a reshuffle with that um, and learn some new skills on maintenance and that'll be fun. Um, so I made a start on uh, the putting some more appropriate wheels on the 2008 Orbea. Um, I've started by cleaning the, the cassette. It was more mucky because I've been using that as a winter bike. That's all nice and shiny, but the free hub doesn't have the clear click sound that you'd expect from a newish wheel. It's obviously not a new wheel, but it's a good opportunity to get that cleaned up and learn how a free hub works. So yesterday I've got all the bearings out of both sides of that hub. Bearings look good, um, so I suspect that I'll be able to reuse them. As I replace them back into the hub, I'll check to make sure that they run nice and smoothly. Um, once they're re-greased and replace them only if necessary. So that's that. Um, so the bike build uh, going ahead. I, the only thing that I need to rush to get done uh, or need to get done by the end of the year is spending my allowance so I don't lose it. So I'm going to make that initial investment in the frame so I don't lose that money. And then the rest of it, I can, I can have a considered approach. Um, and take my time with. So I've reached out to both these frame manufacturers and I don't expect a very swift response, but it's, it's it reaching out to them. And in my mind, I'm kind of thinking if we can, if I can get some feedback, find out how quickly they can deliver. Um, and also you know, that my money can be invested from the company um, sports account. Um, before I lose it uh, and then uh, the rest as I say can be a little bit more relaxed so that's that's where I am at today and like I say the things I've taken so far are I've changed the camera angle from feedback so that I'm more up and the camera angles um, is better rather than filming underneath my chin um, that will also be improved by the fact we've got GoPro that's coming um, and um, I've ordered an SD card for that. So um, once that's installed, I'll have, uh, I'll be able to use that to start recording content. Um, and then uh, I think this beard's gonna go. I think that's gonna, that's gonna make me feel a little bit more myself. My face is bigger because of steroids and I think Identity is quite important, so I feel like John. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, just be more happy in my skin rather than somebody else I'm looking at on the on the screen that I don't entirely recognise. But we'll see. I might just tidy it up first and see how it looks. But it's not a beard. Isn't something I've ever had before, so it isn't really me, and it's not filling out as quick like, after trimmage. It's, Thing. Uh, long video, sorry, that's me done for today. I'll be back with another report on another day after uh, having a calm and collected day, relaxing and accepting the fact that I I didn't sleep very well um, once I'd woken up at about quarter to two. I slept between um, 11 I think fell asleep on the sofa and two so that's a bit longer than normal but I listened to some music when I woke up and sort of ran things through my head and read a chapter of my book but it was clear I wasn't going to go back to sleep so I thought actually getting up and doing this was kind of more beneficial because it might actually improve the quality of the calmness of today uh, rather than just lying in a worry. Bye for now. Um, 
and uh, sorry, this is a bit of a long one. Feel free to flick backwards and forwards. Bye.